Hello, I am here at the show and I'm looking for an awning. You might have seen my fire pit camper van conversation series, which I've struggled with in the weather. I need some protection from the wind and the rain, so I need a new awning. So I've come to the show to see what there is. And there are loads of different options. The first place I've come to is Dometic. And there's some beauties here. And the first one that has caught my eye is this hub, the Dometic hub. I'm just not sure if it's gonna be a little bit too small. It's a square, so it's a little bit different than what you would have seen before. I think it's 2.3 meters by 2.3. It is pretty good, and it connects, obviously, onto the transporter by the side there. But what the beauty about this awning is, is it's not only an awning, an air shelter, you can remove the side panels. So you've got these side panels, but they completely unzip and you can remove them, but you can also add to it as well you can add some separate parts into it you can have maybe a bedroom or maybe another annex for something else storing some extra food it is a good product to be able to actually expand for for different use purposes is it for me i'm not sure but look at this talk about brand colors that would be superb for my camper van camper van series i love that what else have we got? Well, this is another one from Dometic, which has caught my eye. And this is the Club uh, DA. And I think this might well be a better option. How quick I could actually erect it or not, I don't know. It's not got the removable sides, but it's got a big door, which can obviously be removed in its place. It's got windows, it's got fly screens, and it connects to your van in exactly the same way. I think that could well be the better option. It's just like more of a traditional awning. It's got the traditional setup. It's got the apex. Make sure that wind comes off it and the rain even. Yeah, I like that one. That's my favorite so far, but what else have they got? How about this for an awning? This is a nice awning. That'd be absolutely perfect if I had a dog, which I haven't. I'm not sure if it's that video has actually appeared yet, but I'm going to say it again. Should we get a dog? You should. Should do, shouldn't I? Now, this is another option for me, and this is from Outwell, which, again, is on the smaller side, which is what I was looking for, but I'm just not sure if it's too small. It's a similar concept to what I've just seen with the Dometic. The kind of cube shape, again, with the removable side panels. It's got the part which will connect to the side of my van, which is perfect fly screens, windows, it is nice, but I'm just not sure if it's big enough. What about this? This is a different option. It's still along the same lines, but it's a shelter. It isn't air erected and it is a lot cheaper. It's 285 quid, whereas the other ones were probably twice, three times the price. Now that one is definitely big enough. Has it got sides? Yep, it's got the sides, so that'd work. It is an option. Ah, let's keep walking around. An option it is. So another small option we've got is the Outdoor Revolution, the Cayman Midi. And again, this is that same kind of design. The designs you don't see at the moment an awful lot on sites. But they seem to be very, very popular at the show. Again, I think this one is gonna be a little bit too small for me. But it's, well, it's again, it's coming down in price. I mean, this one's 399 and I do quite like that, but I just think it's too small. We've got another one here, which is a different kind of construction. The other one, which we just saw was air, but this one isn't air. This is using the rigid poles. And look at it. As you can see, it's already got a chair and a table in there. So would that be the right size? Again, it's 299 quid. It's an absolute bargain in compared to some of the other ones. It's 240 by 240, so it's only 10 centimeters bigger than some of the other ones, but it just looks a bit bigger. Hmm, don't know, let's keep on looking. Look at this one, this is another option which we've got. It is a Camp Tech, and it is a similar design, a similar shape to the other ones. It's got the square design, the pitch at the top. It is really quite nice and light inside because it's got the lighter panels. Yeah, there is an LED light, which is helping as well, but it's got the lighter panels. 
it's got windows all around and every single one of these panels is removable which would be really really helpful and the space inside of it that definitely definitely would be big enough for me there's absolutely loads of room in that it is a drive away awning so as you can see it attaches to the side of the van and then it's got the panel for the easy access into the side of it now we've got another one here from camp tech and this is the hastings r and this is a, a lot more basic open-ended front which i'm pretty sure you'd be able to zip in a, a front big big very big side doors and windows which again completely unzip so this is going to actually provide a canopy which you can actually remove the sides totally so that is potentially another option but i don't know i'm i'm not convinced by that to be honest with you there's another one next to it as well which looks pretty similar um but a little bit darker and this one as you can see it's got the the front on that one and we've got another possibility here from camp tech this one's a little bit lower the roof as you can see is lower on this one and i can actually see a, a metal pole in that but it's not all metal it has got the air on inside of it as well and it looks a reasonable size nice light and airy which is like i've said what i am looking for i don't really want to be adding additional light during the day if i don't have to so having it nice light and airy is obviously going to help with that situation proper attached awning drive away awning this one it's not for me might be an option for you but this one isn't for me got another option here and this is one i really like again another drive away awning and this is by a company called starcom and it's the voyager and it comes in three different sizes this again is nice light and airy the bedroom detachable bedroom which you're looking at there is in the annex and that is actually an option extra but don't panic because this is only retailing at about 649 and for what you get in here that is really really good value it's another air awning it's nice light and airy there is windows there's detachable bits and look at this here this end panel here this end panel actually is where it is at the moment but it extends and goes out right to the end so this bit which we're in here which is a reasonable size instead of finishing there it can actually finish down there that is absolutely superb it is really really good but that isn't the best feature one of the best features which you've got is the tunnel which you've got here which you attach onto your van now we know that these can be an absolute faff but this here has actually got a detachable part which zips off so when you're actually detaching it from your van you can actually just zip away and drive off it is such a simple process it is a really really good product this is one which i really do like i'm actually quite taken by that now i know the actual brand itself dorima is probably not a brand which a lot of you will be aware of because they're mainly involved in the caravan awnings which you can see behind me but these caravan awnings they've been doing these since 1987 they are not new to the market they have been around so this is it from the other side and you can see it's air beams again from here opening windows and doors with a nice porch area but like i said it doesn't have to be a porch area it could actually be the front door like i've said that front door can come out here big old space is it too big for me though that's the problem but actually it's 649 or if you buy it at the show the show price for this particular tent is actually 549 now Van Gogh, I love Van Gogh. I have got lots and lots of Van Gogh products. Over the years, I've built up a lot. I've got an absolutely fantastic rucksack, which is about 70 litre. So to me, it is a brand I like and admire. And this, I think, ticks all the boxes. It's nice, light and airy. It's got a decent sized footprint. I actually think that this well could be big enough for what I need and because of all the windows and the doors it's going to let in a lot of light obviously during the day if it's night anyway it's not particularly going to help but this side here it's obviously got a fly net 
but you cannot actually completely remove it, which is perfect. This side just is a window, but I don't need to remove everything. I can have three open sides, so it can protect me from the rain, and it's got a window at the top, which can let some additional light in. This could well be the one which I'm looking for. It's obviously attachable to your camper van, which is exactly what I need, and attaching it to the camper van it's going to give it an extra, I don't know, what, metre, metre and a half maybe? Uh, I'll have to have a look at the spec sheet. But that, I think, is size-wise a really, really good product which could suit me. Let's have another look, carry on round. They've got lots of others. We've got here, we've got the uh, Cove Air, uh, the Cove Air TC Low. And this one... Again, he's a decent size, and it's got a window on this side which isn't removable, and then we've got another window on this side which is a fly screen which is removable, but there's a problem here, and the problem is that is a closed end, and it's dark, and there's no window in the roof. So actually, that is not going to be for me. What about this one? This is the Pharos uh, Low. And again, it's another cracking awning. Uh, it's too narrow. That's too narrow for me. But it's a great well-built awning. I've got a door on this side which I can get in. It's air beam again. It's nice, but it's too small. That one definitely is too small. Now an awning which doesn't need any introduction and that is the Galley, extremely popular for the uh, T6 owner. And this is an absolutely fantastic awning. Again, it is an Airby morning. It's got a nice porchway. And inside, it's pretty large. It's got loads and loads of space. So as far as my concerns about being able to film it inside it, there's no issues at all there because it is cavernous. It's not got the windows at the top, but the actual panelling is quite light so it is letting a lot more air in than the one which we've just seen it's got windows around the side with obviously blinds to blocking it out and then it's got another entrance door here and this is the driveway part so you'd come through here and you'd get through to the actual van and that part of it obviously attaches to your van the problem with this for me is it's too big i want something for my videos to attach really, really quickly. Be able to put up really quickly, take down really quickly, no messing. So this, all of it is an absolutely fantastic awning. And I know a lot of people have it for very, very good reason. Today, for me, this one's a no. What about this beaut? The Hexaway Pro Air. It is, as the name suggests, a hexagon shaped awning and it is pretty spacious. Size-wise, I think it ticks all the boxes. It is definitely going to be big enough to suit my videos. And it actually looks pretty cool. It's got windows all around. It is nice light and airy. It's got windows up above as well to let the light in from the ceiling. It's got windows and fly nets all around. Club it out. Is it? Is this the one? Is it? Is this the one? This is actually proper cool. Oh my word, I like that. Yes, I really do like that. Is this the end of the hunt? Have I found the one? My winner, this is the one I think I'm going to buy. I absolutely love it. It's just so cavernous, there's so much space in it, but it's easy to put up, easy to erect. So when I am doing my fire pit camper van videos, I'll be able to do it quickly, speak to my guests without wasting any time. I like this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it back on the train with me, so I'm not going to be able to buy it today, even though there are some absolutely great offers on. You can actually get a free gram sheet and a free something else. You get quite a few bits with it. It is actually quite a good deal. So if you are looking for an awning, do check this out. This is definitely the one which I am interested in. If you haven't seen any of the videos which I've done on the camper vans at the show or some bigger vehicles, then do check them out here. Take care. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.